You said something about street view. Yeah, you couldn't street view this. What? You couldn't street view this. Saturday morning, bike ride. Just looked at the route the guys had taken out of town and working out where to meet them. Head to an inauspicious junk. Scott from Caffeine wants to check out a new coffee shop. Let's get going, really. Do Say hello. Quite good fun descent, this. We only found it the other week, which is good. But one day, we're gonna see where that goes. Because it also goes that way. Good work, sir. Where are you going, Scott? You said something about street view. Yeah, you couldn't street view this. What? You couldn't street view this. Do you want to be passy over? Yes. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks, boss. Bye, man. You're grinding, George. Hello. How's your lemon drizzle, George? What is this, Scott? Um, it is pornography on a plate. George, we're left doing nothing while Scott smooths as the manager. Very good. Cheers, chat. Fantastic cake. Yeah. Fantastic. Good choice, Scott. Going straight up, Scott. Hello. Hello. Today. Morning. Morning. Where are we, Scott? We are at Lames Road. That was your 100%, was it? 100%. Makes me feel a bit better that you came past quite that quickly. That was a good day out. Enjoyed the uh, the off-road section. I was just about to do a um, little intro, say what was going on today, and I got a really rather exciting email. I think that means the Layham's frame is here. Oh. I was right. The first painted. Stainless steel, Liam's frame. Yeah, properly, properly excited. Before I look in this, I've seen really nice studio photos of this, um, but the first time you get a frame out of a box, a production frame, kind of, it's it's a it, it's a coming together of. Uh, it's coming together of probably not far off a year's work. Hopefully, you'll understand why it is as exciting. For me as it is and um yeah hopefully you'll enjoy it too so this is the first time on the vlog that you're getting to share seeing something for the first time with me forks bubble wrap oh. it's like christmas morning it's so well protected I want to get busy with a knife but don't want to scratch it It's no good. I'm going to have to put the camera outside. Just finished.
finished some lunch having built a little bit of the uh, lambs sample before getting to that I just wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown of what's been going on anyone who's emailed us in the last few days or last month or so I really will know that cat our marketing girl lady a marketing person um she had a pretty big accident at Hill Velodrome she's had a couple of operations getting back up to speed now but we had our first good big productive planning meeting yesterday we chatted about what we're I guess what we're gonna focus on and what we're talking about with you to you and what's what's going on we're gonna be doing some stuff with the transcontinental race last year when we launched the pilgrims a couple of people came straight to us they kind of seemed to think that the pilgrims was the bike they'd been looking for this year one of those guys Paul Buckley is going back he got to within a couple of hundred K of Istanbul last year but got sick so he's going back got uh, yeah he's got some uh, previous with the TCI you could say another couple of people that we know about who are doing Transconti on Pilgrims. Matt Faulkner, who's kind of getting a bit of support from our dealer Duro Cycles and Isha, and another guy, Chris. Chris, his name. There'll be a description thing. But yeah, so we're gonna chat to them, find out a little bit about you know what's what's making them tick with a TCR, what's going on, bike choices, route choices, all the sort of stuff that if that sort of long distance adventure sort of thing is your bag, the sort of questions that you, you ask. You know, we're gonna be having quite a bit of that stuff some blog stories on that uh, I'm gonna try and get an interview with Matt in the next week or so if that comes off that'll come on a future episode of, of the blog and we're also talking about summer cross local race series that we were gonna help the girls from fifth floor run in the end with Kat being in her accident and other stuff that's happened we we've We've taken a bit more of a backseat on that. They're all set up and it's going to be a great local cross series that we're certainly going to be at and supporting from a riding point of view and giving them a little bit of help anyway, as much as we can. Obviously there's the usual stuff we're doing, just riding locally. All our brand ambassadors are riding. Andy Matthews is off in a bibbying weekend the other weekend. He's doing the South Downs Way on a Footscray at the end of the month. We just put a blog post up from Adam, who's just done the Velo Club Roubaix Roubaix Sportive runs in June so that's on the website I'll probably put a link in the description on that also had my weekly meeting with Rory yesterday those those meetings are kind of our strategic kind of chats business catch-up far more on the kind of commercial side of the business that's where Rory gets involved plan what we're doing what's coming up in the future what we're kind of trying to focus on how we're going to grow the business and how we're going to what directions what is working what isn't what do we need to change that sort of stuff and yeah we talk about bike racing too and talk about riding our bikes and then of course there's a Liam's full painted first one landed we did the little unboxing thing yesterday we wanted to try and get it built yesterday but with a meeting with Kat in the afternoon and a meeting with Rory in town didn't happen so this morning after doing the usual morning Taiwan stuff and doing a little bit of UPS we started getting that built all the forks are in pretty much it's now down to the point of finding a front mech clamp and then it can just be cabled up and fully built ready to go its first outing is probably going to be down in bath tomorrow rather than locally which is uh, it's funny how these things happen but um road cc have got a ride out so the plan is to get on a train in the morning get down see the guys from road cc first thing and then go for a ride with uh, some of the road cc fans readers locals and chat to them see what they think of the bike chat to them about bowman and if they're up for it sort of have a chat to them and with a bit of luck you'll see some of that on an episode next week i'm going to get back to finishing off building the lambs and go from there so sometimes no matter how many seat clamps and things i think that might fit
recording of uh, closing wordy stuff corrupted to re-record having already filmed some of today's stuff for next week yeah and really good to get the layers built up looks fantastic and excited to go and see the folk at Road CC tomorrow obviously I'm on the track going to see them now having been doing some riding if you watch the next vlog you'll see them anyway thanks for watching this one let us know what you want to see more of if you've got any questions about the layers give us a shout and we'll see you next time with some more stuff hope you enjoyed it speak to you soon and see you later